Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from where you're watching me. A lot has been said about the shower meeting Raira Murodinga last week on Friday. In an interview with KTN News yesterday, Regatika Shawa made it clear to Kenyans when they met with Raira Murodinga what they discussed and what they want as a government. Just in case you are here for the first time and if not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly I'm requesting that you may take a moment subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I will be uploading of a new video YouTube will automatically notify you and for the returning subscribers thank you very much I never get tired of thanking you guys the support you give towards this channel I really appreciate this far is because of you and indeed this channel will go far as you continue supporting it by watching the content I upload and motivating me. It was not an easy journey but those who have been consistently moving with me you can witness. Uh, the question Regat Gashawa was asked in an interview is that they are saying that they are not going to work with opposition. That's what the President William Samuel Ruto said on Saturday. On the other hand, uh, when William Samuel Ruto was announced as the winner by IEPC, he made quick steps by making sure that those who were weak in the side of Azimio Lomwaja and won elections they joined Kenya Kwanza. He made that to make sure that in parliament, in senate, and even in the side of governors, he controls everything. But I don't think so. If Azmir Omoja was serious, they could have maintained their members. It's like uh, Azmir Omoja never wanted to share anything in this government. They want uh, Kenya Kwanza to run the government in all sectors. Uh, during the time of uh, the former president Uhuru Kenyatta, there are so many things Kenya Kwanza leaders accused Raira Morodinga Uhuru Kenyatta. In 2018, when Uhuru Kenyatta and Raira Morodinga came together in the name of Handshake, that's the time we saw Kenya Kwanza leaders started moving apart. And right now, they are saying that they don't want to kill opposition. There are so many things opposition side needs to check in the government. And that's why they want Raira Morodinga to keep checking uh, their work. According to Rigati Gashawa, in an interview, he explained that when he met with Raira Morodinga, he never wanted to tell Raira Morodinga to come and work with Kenya Kwanza. He asked him to make sure that as an opposition uh, the opposition side is strong and firm so that they can check what the government is doing and by doing so they will help Kenya Kwanza to perform and deliver to Kenyans. Just in case you missed the interview, have a look to this video where Rigati Gashawa was explaining about the meeting they had last week.
about the same on IEBC. I saw you in Mombasa. I think it was at the airport or the lounge at some point. Had a discussion. Mm. <laughs> Perhaps let's start there. What were you discussing? No, 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 no. I ran uh, into Right Honorable uh, Raila Molo Odinga, former Prime Minister, mm. and by any definition, a senior citizen of this country. And uh, we are not enemies. We are not. Mm -hmm. Disagreeing politically is not enmity. It is this outgoing administration that made political differences to be enmity. Raila Odinga and I know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, five years ago, six years ago, he came to my home to bury my late brother, the late governor, Dito Gashagwa. That is not something I take uh, lightly. So when we bumped each other at the airport, we went and sat at the VIP lodge mm -hmm. and we had a tete a tete. And we had a nice time. Anything and, uh, about? Nothing. We just talked about our country. We talked about the elections that are over. And I asked him, I requested him with a lot of humility because he's, uh, he's much older than me. He's been more experienced than I am. And uh, I talked to him with a lot of respect. And I pleaded with him to take up his role and lead his troops to keep us in check and hold us to account because we want to succeed. And let me tell you, Sophia, an effective opposition is good for any country. Why we have a problem in this country for the last five years? There was no opposition. We had a more grail of a government. You don't know who is opposition, who is government. It was so a mix-up. And that is why things went out of their way. That is why we have empty coffers. So what because did he say? Because there was nobody to ask any question. So what did he say no, to he you? Said he, is, uh, he said he is up to the task. He has done it before. And he told us, he told me, He'll keep us in check very vigorously. And I say that is as it should be. And I want to say, and I want to ask everybody in this country, the elections are over. Let us respect each other. Let us work together for this country. Mm -hmm. The right uh, honorable former prime minister is a Kenyan, a senior citizen. Our government will accord him due respect that, and will give him all the perks that he is entitled to as a former prime minister. He'll get his security, he'll get his uh, movement, he'll be accorded uh, status at all airports, mm -hmm. you know, he'll use the VIP lodges, and uh, we have no intention to muzzle the opposition, we have no intention to harass the opposition, we want a loyal opposition, and I urge the opposition to be vibrant. And yet some of their members are already shaking hands with you. Oh, the yes. president refused or said do not be a handshake between him and yes, Raila Odinga. Yes. However, these handshakes are happening at a smaller level, wow. which is also then...